Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our India Style Lucian webinar today. Um, yeah, before we start, I would like to highlight that this webinar will be recorded and um, our copy of this uh, recording will be made available uh, to everyone later. Our topic today is to introduce our Zyla and BS material, the uniqueness of this material and its applications. Today, few of our colleagues will drive you this webinar. Myself, Paul Ho, in charge of uh, Zyla product management for Asia Pacific, located in Hong Kong, China, and then Mr. Yu Su Zhang, Asia Pacific Technical Product Manager for Specialties Transparent Product. Uh, he's located in Korea. He is also the key speaker for technical parts. And Mr. Jerry Lau, Asia Pacific Business Director for Transparent Specialty Products located in Shanghai, China. He will be hosting the Q&A section at the end of this um, webinar today. Last but not least, uh, Ms. Hui Pun Huang, our Corporate Communication Manager for Asia Pacific. She is helping us to control the one down and panel behind the screen today. Let's take a look on today's agenda. First of all, we will give you a short introduction to our company, and then we will also introduce our Zyla MBS material, including our product portfolio and key applications. And then next, we will highlight Zyla key performance and its value to contribute to our customers. There also will be a Q&A section after our presentation. If you have any questions, please send them to us while the question dialog box and we will take the question up accordingly. So this is today our webinar agenda. Before talking about Zyla, let's have a short overview about our company. Yeah, we are the global leader in Styrenix uh, with more than 90 years of experience. We have 20 production sites, six and six R&D centers, 24 sales offices globally across 10 countries. Our products are used in more than 2,000 applications across seven industries, namely automotive, household, electronics, construction, etc. We are also an environmentally conscious organization. We are awarded a Pentium rating by Eco Weathers in 2020 and 2021 placing us the top 1% of the categories of plastic manufacturers. Now, let's have a Zyla introductions. Zyla is the Indio Style Lution brand for MBS material, which is a method, methacolic, butadiene, styrene, and also low as a key uh, impact modifier styrene acrylic copolymers. Zyla has supreme processing over competitive materials such as MABS, polycarbonate, and copolyester as scientifically low temperatures. This leads to higher productivity, lower energy consumption, and less mold in stress. Let's also have a quick look on Zyla key features and performance. Zyla offers a good transparency excellent toughness for job test requirement and good chemical resistance to many detergent and cleaning solutions. Also low processing temperature and low peat dry condition delivers excellent processing ability to increase productivity. And low density features provides a lightweight and cost effective material solution. And in addition, Zyla also complies with FDA, EU, China food contact, which is suitable for household and poise applications. Let's also take a look on our product portfolio and target industries. OK, there are three major grades in our Zyla product portfolio and target to cover household, packaging, toys and healthcare industry. 
Xyla 261 has excellent cavities, high stiffness with practical impact resistance. Xyla 6V1 has an excellent drop test with good, um, resistance, good cavity, good balance, stiffness, and toughness. Besides injection molding grade, we also develop a extrusion grade ex 350 for packaging market last year. ES will highlight uh, this application later. After showing this uh, Zyla basic properties, performance, and portal portfolio, let's go to the most interesting part. And I will show you our successful case and target applications. Okay, yeah. This is the washing machine safety door cover. We co developed Zyla 261. This way, we have a Samsung R&D to a base typically used the MABS in Samsung's uh, new range of uh, household appliances. Zyla 261 is able to meet a wide range of demanding requirements, including mechanical properties, heat and chemical resistance, and featuring high cavities and poor surface quality and excellent ESCR performance against alcohol based sanitizers and kindling detergents. This is ideal material of choice for household applications. The Leo Zyla 261 is also more than an alternative for MABS with 5% lower density advantages over MABS, lower energy consumption and increase in productivity due to the material excellence and processing ability. It allows Samsung to realize more manufacturing advantages, including the part weight reductions. Samsung also appreciate our color center to customize and deliver specific colored grades to meet their design requirement for our premium household appliance range. Okay, yeah, this is another successful case uh, for home appliance segment. Traditionally, fridge manufacturers use SAN and GPPS for fridge transparency interior parts. While they met cracking problem, in particular for those large size fridge models. Customer is looking for a high impact transparent material to solve this problem. And Zyla 261's toughness and excellent cavities completely fit for customers' impact strain requirement and finally solve their problem. On top of mechanical requirement, Zyla 261 offers excellent cavities with premium looks like appearance for their premium fridge design. And this is uh, also food compliance, and this is ideal and safe application for food. As you know, there is a rising home hygiene awareness trend after COVID. More popular of foreign care applications like Wickham cleaners, mop, intelligence cleaning robots in the market. Many foreign care manufacturers develop their new model with a cleaning function and require a detergent tank. Zyla 6V1 is a perfect transparent impact modifier to meet this drop test resistant and detergent resistant. In addition, Zyla's lower density and high flowability over cold polyesters enables to provide lightweight and with cost effective material solution and reduce cycle time to increase productivity. Yes, we will continue to show you more Zyla application and technical information. Yeah, hand over to you, yes. Yeah, thanks, Paul. I will continue to introduce the Zyla applications. Small home appliance and housewares also typical Zyla target applications. There is a successful case of the food storage by using Zyla 631. Our customer developed a new premium brand of food storage houseware and finally selected our material with passing all testing like a drop test 
and visual appearance requirements from different transparent material like PP and co polyester. Besides, Xylosec ribbon is also suitable for many small home appliances and lifestyle products. Water tank is also one of our successful applications for co polyester replacement. And our customer also appreciate the easy processing with the lower energy consumption to realize more manufacturing advantages. Besides the household market, Zyla is also a good candidate for other industry segment like toys, stationery, and office supply. Let's look at the toy market first. As you know that the safety requirement is always the top priority for material selection. And our Zyla Secretary 1, outstanding toughness is the ideal transparent material to avoid the hard breakage of toys in order to eliminate the risk of injuries. Also, Zyla Secretary 1 higher transparency over MABS can deliver higher clarity in higher thickness toy parts. For the office supply market, Zyla's good ink resistance of polycarbonate fulfills the requirements of the pen's nose cone and high toughness over GPPS and SAN offers a higher durability of the premium pens requirement. Okay, as today's electronics designs become smaller and more complex, more engineers are relying on SMT. Here, the SMT stands for Surface Mount Technology. After the 1980s, this technology became the preferred printed circuit board assembly technology in electronics manufacturing. Most components of the phone in your pocket and many of the components in your car were likely made via SMT assembly. Choosing proper carrier tapes for tape and reel packaging is really important because it could minimize part migration, flipping and sticking during transportation, and misfits during the pick and place process, preventing product and productivity losses during SMT assembly. It can also protect sensitive devices against the damage due to electrostatic discharge. Zyla EX350 can deliver a sufficient amount of the protection and support at a cost-effective price for many components. A deeper and more rigid pocket than GPPS SBC blend is possible, so Zyla EX350 is a good choice for some thicker components. With the various choices available in the market, so manufacturers must consider many factors when choosing tapes that provide the right level of performance for the application without overspending. Too little performance, you may bear the risk, such as lower product quality, slowing down production lines due to mispicks or component damage. Too high performance, then you may waste your money more than you need. Okay, from here, let's see the features of Zara in detail. Zara is a cost effective alternative in injection molding applications with over 30 years of a proven performance. 5 to 25% lower density advantage means less resin is required to produce the same number of the parts as competitive materials like a PC, copper polyester, and MABS. For example, 1,000 metric ton of a PC or copper polyester means only 875 metric ton of a Zyla 
to make the same number of parts. It could simply save 125 metric ton. Xyla is a low moisture absorption copolymer and in many instances processes readily without pre-drying. So it could deliver lower energy cost, which is also related to the low carbon footprint, as well as improve material flow in the workplace, lower rejection rates, and better part appearance. There are combinations of conditions that required the product to be dried, such as a high humidity in the rainy season and heavy section molding. Only two hours at 65 Celsius degree is adequate for most applications and the humidifying type is recommended. Xyla has better flowability with the mild processing temperature over PC, copolyester, and MABS. In a spider flow test, Xyla resins flow up to one third further than clear MABS when the materials are processed at similar temperatures and flow the same distance as polycarbonate at significantly lower processing temperatures. This means higher productivity through shorter molding cycles and parts with the less molded in stress. And lower melt temperature means shorter cooling times, faster cycles, and lower utility costs. So Zyla can provide significant processing advantages over competing resins. Basically, Xyla has good chemical resistance to alcohol, lipid, and most industrial and commercial cleaners, and most household cleaners, and most food additives. This slide shows a very good example of environmental stress crack resistance performance of Xyla. We control the strain jig at 0.43%, and 1.17% strain with the tensile bar hand in place and exposed to the vacuum cleaner detergent and all-purpose cleaning solution to simulate the vacuum cleaner detergent tank application for Xyla Secret 1 and laundry detergent and hand sanitizer to simulate the safety door of a washing machine application for Xyla 261. As you can see, Xyla outperforms MABS in chemical resistance. This slide can help you to understand the unique value point of Xyla compared with the MABS. First, better clarity and color. Crisp clarity, especially in thick parts, and more neutral color due to absence of acrylic nitrile. Second, excellent drop test impact test. If you look at the medium impact rate, which refers to Zara Sector 1, Sharpie and ISO the impact are lower, but much better drop impact performance. That means it could be a perfect solution for vacuum cleaner detergent tank, water tank, and water jar application. Third, alcohol resistance. Importance of the hygiene products, such as disinfectant and hand sanitizer, has been increased since COVID-19 outbreak. So we assume that having excellent alcohol resistance will be prerequisite for household application. Fourth, better processability. Better flowability at lower processing temperature could shorten cooling times, make faster cycle time, and lower utility costs. And no pre-drying also could deliver lower energy costs. Before moving on Q&A session, let's review the features of Xyla again. Xyla is a clear and tough acrylic copolymer provides excellent clarity 
and superior processing with low cost. Lower density means more parts per same amount. Significant processing advantages over other resins, such as a faster cycle time, lower processing temperature, and optional pre-drying. Lower moisture absorption also contributed to reduce moisture-related defects, resulting in less scrap rates. Faster cycle time could lower machine idle time so that wasted reduction can be made. And Zala's better thermal stability compared with the copper ester and MABS is able to be better regrind util utilization. That's all the slides we want to share today. Hope we do bring you the new ideas on what Zala has been working on. Now it's your turn to ask questions. Over to you, Jerry. I, uh, thank you. Yes, and thank you, Paul. So let me uh, check uh, what questions already in our chat box. So yes, I already see a lot of questions here. Let me select some questions. Yes, first question is related to is the Xyla 631 properties. Uh, I think this question can be answered by yes. The question is regarding Xyla 631 excellent drop testing resistance. Any more details could be shared? And how about the compare with MABS? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, um, that's a good question. Actually, um, we already got these same questions for many times when we promote our Zyla 631 to compete clear ABS. Um, if you look at the, the Sharpie or ISO impact or Zyla 631, um, it looks relatively a kind of the low impact rate. However, if we make the actual injection molded parts, with the Zyla 631, the drop um, resistance performance is much better than conventional MABS. Hence, um, we in use star solution are using the other method like a Gardner impact test to show the excellent drop test performance with the quantitative test result. Um, actually, this Gardner impact test is widely used for coating and plastic industry. Um, in both industries, impact resistance is measured by a falling weight from a controlled distance. Um, so uh, for plastic materials, the force is increased until the structure of failure occurs. Um, the failure will appear as a crack on the surface. Um, then we could check in the height and convert it to the impact strength to measure the toughness of the resin. So, yeah, if you want to promote our Zyla Sector 1 to replace MABS in a drop test, drop resistance required application, then please don't hesitate to contact our sales team. Then we are going to provide you with the property comparison table. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I think I. This following question is still related with uh, properties. Yeah? So you already mentioned, I think a lot of a replacement or compete with uh, polycarbonate, polyester. So here is the how about the stretch resistance performance of Zyla. Could this also can compete with uh, the other transparent material? Yes, please. So Jerry, you mean scratch resistance? Scratch, right? Yes, scratch resistance. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I think this is really controversial topic because um, you know each customer has different method to check the relative resistance or susceptibility of the material surface to scratching. For example, some customers are using already standardized method such as a pencil hardness or table abrasion 
or Scratch and Ma test, but some customers are using their own test method, like just a simple Scratch test, scratch test by nail, or abrasion test with the two pieces of the extra part. Um, I think we also have to think about the cause of the scratch occurrence. Is it because of the severe scratch or just the gentle scratch like um, caused by nail? Um, anyway, uh, I would say the Zala has good scratch resistance, but in this case, the scratch is relatively shallow marks generated by mild and gentle scratch. So we call it scoffing resistance, um, especially Xyla 261 has excellent scoffing resistance. So actually the Samsung could reduce the error rate significantly caused by the shallow scratch during transportation between um, in injection molding line and the assembly line. Um, but however, if you talk about the pencil hardness, um, frankly speaking, Zyla has lower than MABS. So actually we are developing a new type of Zyla to compete and to fulfill the high scratch resistance requirement. Yeah, thank you. Yep, thank, thank you, yes. I think the following question is related to the application. So is Xyla suitable for healthcare application? So any uh, regulatory uh, compliance with uh, Xyla in the healthcare industries? So Paul, could you answer this question? Thank you. Uh, yes, um, actually, yeah, for Xyla, uh, we also target uh, for the healthcare application. Actually, for example, Xyla 6v1, we had a uh, essential uh, HD or healthcare package. It means that uh, it complied with the ISO standard and also we competed also a uh, few biocompatibility tests and also we qualify for the uh, USB class. Um, so that's why this is also our advantages or packaging that we can uh, target for healthcare markets or applications. Or, uh, if our customers want to know more details, I will ask them, maybe you can contact our account manager or sales team to get more details information. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Julie. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Paul. Um, following question, I think I can pass to yes. So the question is uh, very short. Yeah, Xyla 631 can be blow molding process. That is the question, yeah. Yes, give it to you. Yeah. Um, I would say it it's possible, but you know, most of the that application, the target application would be the sports bottle. But it's also quite controversial because um one of the the essential requirements for that application is order, but Unfortunately, our um, we have kind of a limitation because of the quite of the old smell. So maybe, um, but you know, some customers they have their own the requirements. So it also depends on the how to deliver the finished parts from the injection. Sorry, the molders and to the the end users. So probably. Um, if you, you seek for such kind of the application and for the proper material, then please contact us. Then we could um, discuss in detail separately. Yeah, thank you. Yep, thank you. Yes. And the other question is uh, okay. <laughs> Paul, maybe this question you could answer. Uh, do you have any color samples could be showing and uh, this customer could really see it in, 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 in sometimes yeah, about the, the as you mentioned, the clarity, transparency, everything. Yeah, or give yeah, to sure. you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure that uh, we also have prepared our color sample already. 
uh, yeah, you can feel um, uh, not only the transparency, but you can also uh, feel the material uh, we have provided and produced as um, just like the car standard color tip, uh, color trips. Uh, sure that uh, if you have any uh, further interest on this one, please approach uh, to our sales team to get it. Uh, definitely, you will surprise that our material, how transparency and toughness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. It's uh, very simple. Just to talk with your account manager, then they will give to you. They will give to you. Yeah. And next question, I think uh, maybe this customer understands already using our material or something. Yeah. So the question is, uh, what is the main difference between the major two grades? Zyla 261 and Zyla 631. Yes, this question to you. Thank you. Um, OK, um, I can simply say the major difference is toughness. Um, actually, we have the nomenclature system of our Zyla. The first digit was intended to serve as a relative indication of the impact resistance with the nine being the highest and two being the lowest. And the second digit refers to MFR. So yeah, it's it's quite simple. So the toughness of the Zyla 631 is higher than Zyla 261. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, yes. And the next question is, uh, Yes, OK, this is a, we already introduced. Uh, yes, a Zyla has a low watt absorption advantage compared to the other material, so the pre-drying is optional. So that in some situations could. Uh, yeah, we give some advice on the Zyla pre-drying conditions. Yeah, yes, please, you could answer this question. Thank you. Uh, OK, uh, actually, I already mentioned before. Um, two hours, only two hours at 65 Celsius degree would be enough. Um, the only concern here is an excessive, excessive pre-drying, like a too high drying temperature or too long drying time, because it could degrade the Zyla material. Then you may see some of the defects on the, sur the surface if you use a such kind of a material. Yeah, like uh, silver streaks and the bubbles and so on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, uh, the following question is, is related to the coloring. Uh, because we already mentioned it, I uh, have uh, various colors could be uh, provided by by ours. And this is a uh, how about self coloring by custom itself? Or can they using some pigment or master batch to coloring the Zyla material? So this question also give to yes. Thank you. Yes, please. OK, um, of course there is no problem for coloring. Um, you can use the exact existing pigment if you add it directly during the injection molding. Um, however, in case of the color master batch, you should check the carrier resin first. For example, um, if the existing material is MABS, then the carrier resin will also be MABS. Um, unfortunately, the Zala and MABS are not miscible, so the haze level will be increased if you blend them together. So basically, we recommend to use Zyla or SMMA as a carry resin for the Zyla, for Zyla column master batch. But um, if you see for more economic solution, then GPPS would be another option. Of course, the lab scale is just a small scale trial is recommended prior to the production of the GPPS column master batch. And if the re um, if the requirement amount of the column master batch is it's really really small, then I would say it's worth to try existing even MABS master batch as well. Yeah, because it it will not affect to the 
uh, the haze or transparency significantly. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah. uh, this question is related to the hot topics about sustainability. So I think I can answer this question. So the question is uh, Zyla meat recycling or bio attributed material trend in the market? Yes, definitely. Um, we in the solution has already have the clear target related with the sustainability. So we already have our clear strategy related to the sustainability and also we have our eco product based which is related with uh, mechanical recycle, chemical recycle, and also some bio-attributed raw material to reduce the GHG emissions. So then I think if for all these eco product related, you could check with our account managers. And also if we have any new solutions and also the new product which could by from Asia Pacific, we will update to you when we have uh, some news to be shared with you. Yes, that is related to the sustainability. So let me check. Yeah, still has a lot of questions. Yeah, so uh, these questions is related with uh, property wise. How about ultrasonic or bonding performance of Zyla? I think it's a lot of related to the also the medical industries and also some household industry. So yes, could you answer this question? Thank you. Okay, um, that's also a good question. Um, the most common bonding method for styrenic parts, I mean the styrene polymer parts to each other um, would be solvent bonding and adhesive bonding and also ultrasonic welding. Um, Zala can be solvent bonded by using the recommended solvents such as uh, the MEK or acetate acetate. And also in case of the adhesive, uh, the Loctite adhes adhesives could work with the most metals. And OK, Jerry, if you talk about the medical applications, also I would say Loctite adhesives and epoxy adhesives can be workable. And Ultrasonic welding will, um, if we effectively bond um, Zyla to itself, basically any parts that are to be welded should have a melt temperature within 10 Celsius degree of each other. Um, but I would say the within 5 Celsius degree is the most desirable, but yeah, 10 Celsius degree will also work. Um, to be frank, this makes welding the Zyla to ABS it's kind of a borderline. So we have some the application that um, already successful and some that were not because it really depends on the product and the ABS. So if you want to get more detailed information, yeah, please contact us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes. I think time is running really fast. So let me check the last question. OK. Now the question is uh, related with our product itself. So I think Paul could answer this question. Where is the Zyla MBS material produced now? Where in your solution supply this material? Still come from USA? Ah, OK. Yeah, yeah. I think Paul, okay. you could answer this question. Yeah. <laughs> OK, OK, yeah, thank you, Jerry. Um, yeah, sure that um, um, the Zyla, uh, now we can produce it in Korea, um, as Jerry just mentioned. Uh, actually, um, this technology was developed in North America more than 10 years, but now we see a lot of the opportunities here in Asia, so that's why we localize our productions in, in, in Asia, so we, we, we can produce in Korea now. The, by the way, the, Actually, we are also um, uh, developing more grades uh, to fit for more Asian uh, market perspective. So that's why if you, um, yeah, now we only have a so-called three core grades here in our portfolio. But anyway, we are keep uh, developing a more um, 
ways that to fit for different industry and applications. Yeah. So that's why if you have any other uh, opportunities and then are more interested to in uh, our Zyla, please contact us. Yeah, our account managers. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. And uh, yes, I'll uh, give this uh, answer for our Q&A sections. Yeah. So if your question were not answered today, I think you can approach your account manager or drop your message to our webinar email address, which is showing in the uh, pages now. So we, we would answer the relevant department to answer your question shortly. So thanks again for the participation today. Hope to see you again in the other webinars of Indio Solution in the future. Bye bye. Bye bye. Driving success together.